So I've been home with my mother for about two weeks now, and already I'm thinking fondly of the days when I was overstaying my welcome at Netherfield. My name is Izzy Bennett, and my mother has taken nuts to a new level. So the problem is that ever since Mr. Collins came over for that first dinner and complimented my mother's cooking, no matter what I say or hint or cajole, she lets him in at the drop of a hat. Him! It's like he has my mother under some kind of voodoo spell. Oh my goodness, now that's a sensible young man. Lizzie, don't you think he's a remarkably clever, good sort of man? One that you may consider partnering with? <laughs> of course, Mom is thrilled any time a young man comes to visit one of her daughters. She seems to have forgotten he's engaged. I suppose it is partially my fault for proposing to him when I was seven, <laughs> but he can't still be thinking about that. But as soon as I get up in the morning, my mother says he's called. It's like he knows when I've been sleeping. He knows when I'm awake. He's like an evil Santa, a stocky, annoying, talkative, evil Santa. Stalking might actually be better because then at least I could get a restraining order. He's not bad, he's just Ricky. And he won't leave me alone. Good evening, Miss Beckett. Oh, good God! Oh, don't be alarmed. I garnered your mother's permission to visit with you. Oh, yes, because that is all that's required to enter my bedroom. I'm here for a private audience. Well, I'm recording a video, so if you can't say it to the entire internet... Oh, you're a bold one, Miss Bennett. And you'd do well to infer that what I've come to propose deserves an audience. I do? No, I mean, I don't do. How do I begin? Your efforts to impress me have not gone unnoticed and actually add to your many qualities. You know what, I think that my mom probably need- You're nervous, of course. My intentions have been too obvious. In fact, when I saw you again, I knew you would be the one. You can't be serious to share the most important part of my life. Oh my god. Elizabeth Bennett, would you become my new business partner? What? I'm offering you a partnership at my company. It would be very lucrative. You're offering me a job? I, I should inform you of my reasons for seeking a business partner. Actually, that was my original intent in attending VidCon. First of all, secondly, and thirdly, finally, my VC, Catherine DeBerg, strongly suggested I have a stalwart partner with a vivacious personality. Oh, oh, but she can't possibly approve of someone who's still in grad school. No, she is sure to approve of you. And I can easily compensate for your lack of connections or business acumen. Good. Of course, you will have to abandon your studies. It is a great personal sacrifice, but I am willing to make it. I had envisioned a colleague with a higher degree, but in any case, this should more than take care of your needs. I'd like to start- Well, I haven't accepted the offer. Negotiating, of course. <laughs> You're just proving I made the right choice. Allow me to sweeten the deal with extended benefits. Um, no, I, I'm not negotiating. I, I just, I don't see myself making instructional videos. I'm saying no. Amazing. Such a shrewd and calculating individual like yourself. I should have expected this. And indeed I did. I know what you require. A generous signing bonus. Oh. God, Ricky, you just don't get Please, it. Please, Mr. Collins. No, if... no, I'm talking now. Me. Let me talk. Just shut up. I, I, I'm not negotiating. I'm not being shrewd or calculating or, or any four-syllable word you can think of. I mean it with all due respect that I possibly have left when I say I don't want to be your business partner. I am well-connected, funded, and offering you a respectable position. As charming as you are, you are unlikely to ever be offered anything comparable with your connections and degree. Okay. Out you go!
there are no words. I guess that's the kind of present an evil Santa would give. And I get to tell my mother that I turned him down. It just gets better and better.